audience is Dr. Marcia Ann Mims Calpertino with the greatest woman on earth, Sweet Alice. Parents of Watts, founder and originator. Sweet Alice, it's so good to be with you today. Thank I mean, you. I've, I've, I've dreamed of Thank sitting you. in front of you, and now, guess what? I have the opportunity. How are you today? Fine. Fine. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I hear you have a wonderful celebration coming up August 1st of this year. Uh, I know it now. And, and listen, <laughs> everyone is saying in the community that they're going to be there. They've got to be there. They'd rather be dead than not be there. <laughs> Sweet Alice, what have you done over the last 50 years? to garner this kind of participation? What have you done to garner this type of interest? I know you've been on the battlefield right, in the community right, right. for 50 years yes. and 60 years in the city of Watts, right. Los Angeles, California. Right, right. Let's kind of take this thing back. All right, all what, right. Have, what have you been doing over the last 50 years? Well, now I can start with the 50 years. I am doing, I started doing here what was done to me back in Alabama. Well, let's talk about Alabama. And, well, I, I, I had a baby 13 and one 14. And so now you know then if you had a baby, you couldn't go back to school. Sure couldn't. And you couldn't run with the girls that was in school. I bet so you couldn't. So was classed as nothing. And so I was walking around, talking to the old folks, nothing. But I had a chance to get a job nursing two babies. The, the mother got sick and I was cleaning her house and so they let me take care of the children. And that was Mr. and Miss Ann and Marvin Cohen. And, and, and they were so good to me. Uh, and I love children and see I had two myself so I didn't have to go to school for that because I'm already taking care of mine. Didn't. I guess you did. And I love children, I, I love them. And they, I was so good to them. And finally one day Miss Cohen said to me, Alice, what do you want to be when you when you when you get grown? I, I thought I was already grown. I, I'm I, all I, I can be. Yes, with two and, children and, already. Yes, and, and I looked at her. She said, "I want to help you. I, I really want to help you. My children won't always need you, but yours gonna need you." Now I'm gonna stop you right there. Was this a white couple or a black couple? No, they was the Jewish couple. Oh wow! This was the Jewish really? couple. They give me the job, but I was so good to their children. But I, you know, I'm good all anyway. I'm good. But anyway, she, I went home and cried all night. She couldn't help me. I, she gonna help me, and, and, and I ain't nothing, and I can't read. She gonna help me. Oh my goodness! Cried all night, and I went back to work the next day. I didn't want her to see me. Cried all night. You know, I done turned red and face swole. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm dodging. Finally, she said, called up with me and said, "Young lady, you don't work in my house. Walk all in my house and don't speak to me. What's your problem?" And I start crying again. Said, oh, wow. She said, what's the matter? Did your mother beat you again? Or? No. She says, she better not, because I told her she better not do that again. I said, no, ma'am. Well, what's your problem? I said, you can't help me. Why can't I help you? And I finally said, I can't read. She said, I know that. That's why I want to help you. I know you Sweet can. Sweet Alice. Yeah. What a story. <laughs> I felt so good because I had been hiding that. And I thought, I don't have to hide that anymore. And she said, where you want to be? What do you want to like to do? I said, I like to fix hair. Oh, beautician. I said, no, ma'am, fix hair. She said, that's what that word is. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> said beautician. I said, beautician. She caught me by the hand. We walked down the hall. She said, you can't do this by yourself. But with me, you will be a beautician. And I felt so good. I didn't think I'd be a beautician, but I felt good. She knew I couldn't read, but she got me a tutor. And after she got me a tutor, and the chauffeur would carry me down to the tutor four days a week when uh, I put chauffeur. the kids to work. Bus Alice? Well, now, wait. They had a maid. They had a, 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 a cook. They, and then they had a nurse. And then they had a chauffeur. And they had a gardener. So they weren't poor people. I now. bet they weren't. <laughs> and you were in good company. And I could wear her clothes. And her mama owned the Saks Fifth Avenue in New York. Oh, my goodness. So I'm wearing the best. And Sweet then, Alice. And, yeah, and, 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 and then my children kitchen is giving them clothes, you know. So I'm doing all right. And she I got me a so job too. at that beauty shop. And that, the beauty shop was my tutor. And when I didn't have to work on the weekend, I could go to the beauty shop and I could wash hair. 
and my name became Alice again. I was Alice. I wasn't nothing. Oh, and my goodness. They said, keep Miss Alice washing my hair while you're doing this. And I was smiling. I started going to church, other place where the, where the upper class was going. You hit the jackpot. I know I hit oh, the jackpot. Oh, goodness. I, I ain't never felt so good in my life. I didn't know I felt so bad until I started feeling so good. So good. <laughs> and then I worked there with her and did all right. And finally, they, 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 they had to go out of town. And I was going out of town. But she said to me, I said, there's anything I can do for you all. Y'all been so good to me. Whatever you say I can do, I'll do it because you've been so good to me. I thought it was something in the house I could do before I leave. Yes, yes. She said, yeah, it's something you can do for me. I said, what is that? She said, when you meet someone is wearing the same shoes you was wearing and thought they was nothing. Do for them what we did for you. That's why oh, I do what I'm so doing now. So wonderful. <laughs> so that's what I age, do. Because of that experience, that put you on the road to really wanting to get I, out and help your community, right. help your city, help the world. I know that people change because I changed. So you can't tell me you can't change. You can change if you want to change and you get somebody to help you. And so you've been a change element ever since. You better believe it. You better believe it. So after you left the Coens, where did that take you? New, they kept me to Detroit, and I stayed there until my mother got sick up here. And I went back, and I went to school, and I took the test, passed the test, and became a beautician. So I am a beautician in Michigan. I'm a beautician. I, when I came here, I had to go back and take some more hours. I, I know you. Back. Did. But you see, when you learn how to read. You can do just about what you want to do. It's in your head. Do you really want to be something? What do you want to do? You can do anything you want to do. You got the same brain the rich man has. Of course. God gave it to you. Of All course. you have to do is use it. You can't just say anything. Well, if the Bible says so is a man, thank you. So is he. If I think I can't do it, don't worry, I never will. If I think I can't, it means I can't. There's no such thing as can't. You can do anything you want to do. Well, you mentioned the Bible now. The Bible also, and God. That's yes, right. That, that, reason also, I, that reason I keep it here with me all the that's time. That's also been your You better believe point. it. You better believe is it. Is this something that you walk with, that you talk with? You actually teach this to some of your students? I teach Is this it, something you do by I, example? I teach it every day. I teach it, even to myself. I teach it constantly. Quoting the scriptures because it works. It, I, it have, this is an experience that I have experienced and it works. I know it will. But I would say, you know, whatever you want, ask for it, believe it, and you can have right, it. Right. I ask for a mansion and then I want to build me a mansion. You got to be careful what you say because that's just the way it's going to be. I want to build a mansion. I want to build me a mansion because I want it. I was cheering up the young people. I'm telling them, you can be anything you want to be. You can do what you want to do. But I didn't have no proof to show them what I was course, talking about. Of course, And finally, some of the one boy said to me, you know one thing, Miss Harris, if I had a job like you, I wouldn't be out here selling drugs. Well, I started training to get them a job. So that touched your heart right, right. there. But then as I would talk to them, you got to go back to school. You got to learn how to read. And they would say, why go back to school? We can't have nothing. Yes, you can. That's for those people. Who is those people? That's for the rich people. And the white folks. I know they had a thing. It was always the white folks. Always the rich, it was the yeah. rich people that was white. We didn't know no other way. But anyway, they would say that, and I would say, Lord, you got to help me find a way to show my people they can have what they want to have if they go to school and get that degree like them white and rich folks is doing. That's right. That's and right. All I said, well, the only way, now, I, you know, I walk around, I see the house, I had a house myself, but I got to have something big. I got to show something that the rich folks got. And every time I look at TV, all I see is a mansion. That's all I see. Then I went to say, Lord, I got to build me a mansion. I got to build a mansion. Got to build a mansion. That was so I could have something to show 
the poor student, you can have what the rich do. Now, have. is this indicative of what you're talking about? That is right, right over there. Right behind this picture here with you and former President Bill Clinton. That's it. Let's talk about this. That, this is part of the mansion story that you talk about. That's right? the mansion that we built and it's still there. And I don't talk about it only to the students because they're the ones I built it for. I take them up there on the weekend. How wonderful. And give them a luncheon. And I tell them, now that's a mansion. That's 10,500 square feet. Oh, my feet. goodness. Little bathroom. Oh, there. my goodness. That's a mansion. I said, oh, yes, it is. A lot, no of them get, it. a lot of them get there, they just cry. They just cry. You don't have to cry. All you got to do is get up in your mind. I'm going back to night school, and I'm going to get that degree. Because right now, when you get ready to give a job, they want to know uh, how, how much experience you have. That's, that's Did right. you finish school? If you show that high school diploma, that's minimum wages. But if you show that college degree, that's when the money comes. That your minimum wages, you might get about thousand, fifteen hundred a month. That degree gonna give you four and five thousand a month. Bring Alice, you on your job. You can buy that new car. You can buy that mansion. You can have what you want. But you got to go to school like the white folks did. They don't need to be jealous. They went to school. We got to send ours back to school. That's right, and the white man and any other color man is still offering hope through education. You, they, always, always, there's no secret. You can get it. God gave you the same brain. And believe it or not, if you look at Dr. George Washington Call, they were smarter than some of the white I'll folks. I'll tell you that's true. You, you got it there, but you got to put that brain to work for you. Well, this has always been your philosophy. And because of that, I want to come now to the Watts riots. Okay. To the right. early 60s. Glad you did. Yeah, because Glad I, coming I heard you were such a Trojan out there. <laughs> you were pulling people off of this street corner and off of that street saying, no, 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 it doesn't have to be that uh -uh, way. Uh -uh, Let's uh -uh. talk about your experiences that have caused you to enter into the period of the Watts riots. Okay. A champion. Okay. We already know you're a champion right, from childhood. Right, right, right. Yes. Now, but now let's reason, talk about these uh, Watts riots. Okay, the reason, you played in that area? the reason when I look at the Watts riot, I have to look back to see where we was at a little before the riot. Right, right. A little before the riot, everybody was mad.